My name is Hannah Casal, a nurse practitioner student at Auburn University. Today, we're going to learn all about loop diuretics. Drugs that fall under this pharmacologic class include bumetanide, furosemide, torsemide, and ethacrinic acid. Loop diuretics work in the nephrons of the kidneys in the loop of Henle. The drug bypasses the glomerulus, is secreted directly into the proximal convoluted tubule, and works in the ascending loop. These diuretics bind to the NKCC2 transporter, which is where one sodium, one potassium, and two chloride ions are normally reabsorbed from the urine back into the blood. Loop diuretics block this reabsorption, altering the tonicity of the cells and resulting in an increased volume of very concentrated urine output. So let's talk about the pharmacokinetics. These drugs are absorbed in the GI tract 70%. They're distributed widely in the body and do cross the placenta and enter into breast milk. They're metabolized primarily in the liver and are excreted 80% in urine and minimally in breast milk and feces. So what are the indications for this drug? You would use these loop diuretics in cases of heart failure, pulmonary or peripheral edema, nephrotic syndrome, and hepatic disease. The therapeutic effects that we'll be looking for are diuresis, a decrease in pulmonary and peripheral edema, as well as a drop in blood pressure. What we're going to do right now is meet a patient who's currently on Lasix, one of these loop diuretics, and we're going to quiz him on just how well he knows his drug. Let's go meet Roger. What are some common side effects you can expect from your medication? Uh, headache. Adverse drug reactions include orthostatic hypotension, arrhythmias, ototoxicity, electrolyte imbalances, hyperglycemia, renal failure, and hypercholesterolemia. Are there any medications that you need to avoid while you're taking your Lasix? Uh, time off. Drug interactions include digoxin and lithium, which increase the risk for toxicity, NSAIDs, which decrease the effect of loop diuretics, and warfarin, which causes enhanced anticoagulation effects when combined with loop diuretics. When would Lasix be contraindicated? Mm, what's that mean? Contraindications include anuria, hepatic coma, electrolyte imbalances, and a history of hypersensitivity to sulfonamides. These drugs should be used cautiously in pregnant and breastfeeding women, in diabetics, and in cases of renal disease or cirrhosis of the liver. What's the best way for you to take your Lasix? Swallow it. Loop diuretics should be administered first thing in the morning to avoid nocturia. These drugs should also be taken before meals to improve bioavailability. If GI upset occurs, these drugs can be taken with food. What are some simple lifestyle modifications that you can make to help manage the effectiveness of your diuretic? Exercise. Lifestyle management includes maintaining a weekly record of weights and monitoring any gains or losses, consuming foods rich in potassium to avoid hypokalemia, rising slowly from a seated position to avoid injury due to orthostatic hypotension, and avoiding alcohol while taking loop diuretics. So when do we prescribe a loop diuretic? Loop diuretics are the diuretic of choice in combination with ACE inhibitors for patients experiencing edema related to CHF. They are the second line diuretic for hypertension after thiazide diuretic therapy. Loop diuretics are first line diuretic for hypertensive patients who have a GFR of less than 30 mLs per minute. So what do we monitor on these patients? First, you want to monitor the BUN, the creatinine, electrolytes, uric acid, and blood glucose prior to initiating therapy and again at four weeks. Watch the patient's weight to assess for the effectiveness of diuresis. Monitor electrolytes for imbalances and any cardiac dysrhythmias. Monitor edema to assess fluid volume status. Assess for ototoxicity by asking the patient if they're experiencing hearing loss, ear pain, or tinnitus. And finally, monitor the patient for orthostatic hypotension by obtaining regular blood pressures with the patient lying, sitting, and standing. Let's discuss a few key takeaways. My legs cramp it. <clears throat> Monitor the patient closely for electrolyte and metabolic imbalances. High doses of loop diuretics can trigger profound diuresis leading to hypovolemia and circulatory collapse. And finally, administer a lower dose of the diuretic in patients with hepatic dysfunction and a higher rate for patients with renal impairment. 